Welcome back to the basement of doom, which I cannot figure out its puzzle. But guess what? It really wasn't a puzzle. I apparently just didn't explore well enough. Because if you look over there next to that lovely little shelf, there's some marks on the floor. These scratches must be from the shelves. Which, of course, you have to look at before you're able to do anything. It's always something so simple. Here I am thinking it's like some complex, convoluted shit like you gotta light all four candle stand holder thingamajiggers and then you have to like wait for one of them to burn down to a certain um, that wall the color's slightly different length or something <laughs> so yeah literally all i did was figure out that i needed to move the shelf so i don't know if there's anything else to this as soon as i figured it out uh Quit Different my game sounds. and loaded it back this up. Is it. <gasps> You're a genius, Rio. Different sounds. So now do I need something to smash it with? Let's see what he says. Floor scratches. The shelf's been moved. Why? Is there a space behind the wall? I need to break the wall. How? Oh, I remember we got our sexy little axe over here. Yeah, it's good for some Can whacking. Can I the wall with this axe? You better be able to, because I don't have any other idea what to use. If you ain't going to use the axe for some yet? wall wall whackings, then I don't know what. Ha! <laughs> Yo! Oh my this god, the family crest. crest. <gasps> that's not this a box. mirror, that's a... Oh, it's a box. I thought it was a book. Okay, maybe it is the mirror. Come on, mirror. Got it. Oh, yeah. It's the Phoenix Once mirror. again. The crappiest mirrors in the world that reflect absolutely nothing. Unless I am sorely mistaken about what a mirror is. Pretty sure I have a mirror in my bathroom where I can see reflections and shit in it. Maybe there are multiple definitions of a mirror that I'm not familiar with. Ryo-san, you found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix mirror? It's Shut up, Fuku-san. I, I feel like it's pretty fucking in. cool. Real, real son, stop it, please. <laughs> you think it could be cursed? No dipshit. No, I don't think it's cursed. Uh huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Are you possessed? Shut the it's, hell up. Uh, get real, would you? <laughs> what? I'm serious. Enough. Slap that Give me bitch. Some time alone, okay? Do not uh, masturbate to sure. ponder my thoughts. Jesus. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. How <laughs> stupid Fuku-san is. Do you think it's possessed? Are you possessed right now? Are you cursed and stuff? What's going on, man? Stupid, stupid focus on. Is that like a real first name in Japanese, Fuku? Or is that just like they knew he was gonna have like the most, he was gonna be like the most annoying character in the game and people would hate him, so <laughs> essentially it's just like. F you or fuck you, Fuku's on. Got the Phoenix Bear, must go see Master Chen. Six one five six four seven. Let's 
six. One. Five. Six. Almost there. Four, seven. Dear Lord, that's a pain in the ass. Hello? Mother's Earth. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I... Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oops. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> I forgot. It's like... Shit. I know it's in my notebook somewhere. I get like a shortcut to to the password in my notebook. Pretty please. There we go. Uh hell. So what did he say? Mother, father, is it father's heaven? Dragon oh yeah, father's heaven, dragon, mother's earth comrades. That's what I was going for, but then he hung up on my ass. Let's see if I can remember this telephone number. Six. Need some redial up in this motherfucker. God damned rotary phones. Bit of my existence. Hello? Father's heaven. How about you shove your Nine stupid dragons. password up your oh, ass? Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are. My name is Hazuki. Like you don't know who it is, bitch. Shut the fuck up what and put it? Master Chen yeah, on the phone. I found the mirror. I'll tell my father. Come to warehouse number eight. Sure. Oh really? That <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know who it was that I that answered the phone. I thought it was that little bodyguard dude or whatever, but apparently not because then he came on the line and he's all blah 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 blah. So who the hell they got answering the phone over there? It's a very good question. Because it seemed like it was only him and Master Chin there in the warehouse. But apparently that is not correct. Oh, if they actually let me explore in there, I'm gonna do some exploring and try to... Oh, hey baby. Always gotta talk to you. Me. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. Did you see that attention to detail, man? Like, I was resting... Look at that shit. Resting one foot on the curb and one foot on the street. That's, that's some beautiful detail right there, man. Oh yeah, it's like Christmas time. Where's Santa's fat ass at? So rob his ass, get me some, some more money so I can buy those move scrolls that cost a billion friggin dollars just into the snow what opens love there we go uh i don't know what's today can't even look at my damn well obviously if it doesn't come at 15 after it's not getting here till 30 after and yeah, I pretty much figured it was going to be 30 after. Just because. Oh, Rio. Do you know anyone who knows a lot about antiques? Why don't you try going to the antique shop? I've been to No Bukha way, Kami. man. Do you know anywhere else? How about Yamagishi san? You know him, don't you, Rio? I heard from Oishi san that he was into antiques. His wife, she passed away. She really loved them. Really? I didn't know that. I did not. I don't remember who... whoever that is his name that you said. I don't remember who that is, but... Yeah, good to know. 
apparently Rio doesn't really care and doesn't think it's very important because he didn't write it down in his handy dandy notebook. So yeah, guess it's not that good of information. But it sounded like it might be important. Sweet, sweet public transportation. Here's my 180 bucks for a bus ride. Biatch. No, no, 160. 160 dollar bus ride. Wonder what the exchange rate actually is. I remember a Simpsons episode where they went to Japan and Homer bought like a square melon, a square watermelon or some shit. <laughs> it was like a hundred dollars or something like that. And then he's like, yeah, but now it won't like roll away from me or something. And, and then, uh, uh, he, he bought the watermelon and then he was going to eat it. And then it went like poof or something and like became a round watermelon. Oh, hey, it's the homeless dude. I'll buy you coffee now. Excuse I got me. money. I Still like coffee? being on my lonesome. Don't you talk to me. I see. Aww. Aww, is he not gonna be my friend now because I couldn't afford coffee? That sucks ass, man. Because, like, I was totally gonna buy you a damn coffee, but I didn't have no money, so I would have been stuck at the harbor because I wouldn't have had bus fare. It was all Rio's fault. I was still more than willing to spend the money on you. You sweet old homeless bastard. It saves is your sister. Busy? Today's been My pimp hand. I suppose. I see. See you later. Bye. What the hell? He's like not even gonna tell her that like he saved saved her sister from those evil evil school winches with his pimp hand of doom. So apparently all that shit was like a one-time nighttime dealio and I didn't do it when I was here so I guess I get nothing from it hey it's pretty hey, sucky Leo. you're looking good hey Leo, how about a dog no thanks maybe next time I prefer cat <laughs> eating cat that is not, not you know yeah I'll just shut up now. <laughs> hey, you! Excuse me. Uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Yeah, shut up, Dio. Bitch, I got an appointment. I've been expecting you, sir. Please go on. Oh here. yeah. Now it's sir. Now it's please go in. Yeah, I like how you change your tune now. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch. Come over here and rob your shit and your stupid little guard stand. Just for being mean to me. I don't remember where the warehouse is. I don't think I'm going the right way. Okay, now I'm going the right way. I think. Possibly. Yay, good old number eight. Such a pain in the ass to get here the first time. Like really, dude gave old homeless dude gave me a map. Ah, the Phoenix Mirror. And he drew pathways yes, on it. It's made of Phantom River stone. Shit sounds expensive. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Idiot. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Chu Yuan Da once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. That's yeah, not good. Here's Landi will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know. But you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. 
Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? Oh shit! It's Gollum. What the? Hey. Son of a bitch! Yeah, you better start. I like how he's going after him, but I'm just like standing there. Oh yeah, pushing it like a pimp. Ha! How dare you push that button? Never forgive you for pushing that button. Thanks. Push the shit out of that button. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing dirty. was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. <laughs> that thing. The Chi Yo Men? <gasps> yes. The Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Landi here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Landi. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll mm -hmm. find Landy. And then? And then he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. <laughs> I must avenge my father's murder. Huh. How admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered. What would you do? That's a low blow, Rio. Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Kui Chan. Oh, thanks for nothing. Chen, please wait. You should not waste your life on revenge. Rio needs to bust out his pimp hand and start smacking some bitches. <sighs> Like, was that him angry or constipated? <laughs> like the worst sound effect ever. <laughs> I must poop. Oh, dear lord. Not Fuku-san. So, the chi yo men? And Landi? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Well, that was a totally pointless cutscene if I've ever seen one. Uh, am I doing... What am I training? I guess it doesn't really matter since I'm not really training anything since, you know. Yeah, no. It's like, pretty sure you can load your save game from this one and the second one. Oh, beautiful dream time. Pretty eagle. And then, like, your move training goes over. But I think it's ultimately pretty pointless. I mean, I know it makes your moves, like, stronger and quicker and stuff, but... I think it's really just a waste of time overall to train your moves. And I'm going to be playing the second game on Xbox since I've never played it on Xbox in English. So yeah, obviously can't carry over Dreamcast saves to an Xbox. Therefore making it completely pointless. <laughs> 